And welcome guys to another Rathcast. This is episode 4. And let's get straight into it. We've got your favourite YouTubers as always. I'm your host, Mr. Hef, or Tom, what are you going to call me? We've got Mr. Sapphire Phoenix. Hello. Good on Targon. Whatever that means. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Mr. Rambler. Hello, I am very jet lagged right now. Yes, he just got back from Canada. Canada. We've got the Kiwi Devil as always, Mr. Duba. Hello. And we've got the man who called me two four seven. How are you going? Uh, what's up? What's up? All right. So we're gonna sort of we're gonna change this a bit. We're gonna have a three would you rather questions to start off with. We're gonna have a what would you do question, and then we're gonna have like a little topic talk at the end. So, uh, so just sort of to structure the podcast, make it a bit more. Professional, so yeah. So let's start off. Yep. The first one is: Would you rather be the richest man alive, or wait, what was it again? Let me just get it. Sorry. Or would you rather be immortal? So the richest man alive or immortal? Oh shit. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Immortal. Immortal. Yep. Um, Alex yeah. goes immortal. <laughs> uh, well, there's different degrees of immortal. So are we talking about immortal as in you'll never die of old age, or immortal as in you can't be killed? Let's say of old age. No, no, um, let's say you can't um, be killed. You can't be killed. All right, yeah. So okay. you are, you're invincible. You, you can be killed, but you can't die of old age because there's different. Some some things do different immortalities. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Let's go with what Comet said. Let's say you just you can't die. There's no way of dying. You're invincible. Um, um, I was richest man alive then. I think. So immortal, immortal. I. I'd be immortal, therefore I could slowly accumulate wealth and become the richest person alive. That's true. Yeah, you, you could do like yeah. you, you could do really dangerous stunts. You could say and get rich off that. That's yeah. all well and good, but eventually you're gonna witness the total destruction of the human race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even if you, if, if you live, in, if even if the human race survives for the next five billion years, you will be incinerated by the sun. <laughs> no. With that. No, you're <laughs> invincible. You'll so be you're all gonna... alone, floating in space. You live through that. <laughs> I can fly. This is great. <laughs> See, I I would go with the richest man alive because then there's always that possibility I could use that wealth to develop some kind of technology that could keep me alive longer. Ah. Or I could put me in, put me in, put my mind <laughs> into my conscious into a robot, and then I can be invincible. <laughs> I just had an image of that. Mr. Burns. Uh, Mr. Burns. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Burns. <laughs> like, had his head pickled in something, I forgot what it was. <laughs> I mean, immort immortality seems pretty good, but I don't think I would, I could stay sane. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I would prob I would probably go with being richest man alive. Yeah, I'd have to, be, I'd have to agree, I'd be the richest man alive. Yeah. The richest man alive. <sighs> no, I'd say you better be immortal, anyway. <laughs> you know, because you'll be every day on TV. You'll make tons of money. You can write a book about it. You know, that's true. <laughs> make make movies. You'll you'll make tons of cash. So you'll be the richest man alive anyway. You know, and then you can go see Bill Gates and Donald Trump and tell them, look, dude, I'm fucking immortal. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so on your will, give me everything. You know, and your name shall live on forever because I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. So you'll be the richest man alive. Yeah, that's true. Actually, mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't. Yeah, like I said, I, 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 my, I wouldn't be able to maintain my sanity for that for as long as that. So, you know, for for, for an infinite amount of time, I wouldn't Just, be able to keep my sanity. So imagine floating yeah. out in space for like a million years. How I suppose how you... the only bonus I can think of about being immortal is that. Eventually, when some kind of quote space travel unquote is developed, you could just get in a ship and fly off. That's right. And go and explore. So, so I suppose in that sense, there's a bonus. But that's true. Yeah. I still, I still wouldn't be able to. And I, just, I just, I wouldn't be able to keep my sanity. The sun and the planet is not going to be destroyed within another 30 million year. So eventually, we will travel somewhere else. So you might as well be part of that, you know. Wah, 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 and if you, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> where no man's have gone before. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, so and if you want to make money, yeah, I guess you can wear like a superhero suit with a bunch of sponsors on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you'll make tons of cash, you know. Imagine me on TV doing publicity. Hi, my name is Cold Meat, and I'm, you know, the invisible, invincible guy, and <laughs> drink Pepsi. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I drink Pepsi to stay invincible, you know, and I wash with Old Spice to stay invincible, and I smell good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's tons of money to do with that. All right. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. So the next one. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? Wait. Say that again. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? All right. Uh, I would say wedding, therefore, because I don't have to pay for my funeral. <laughs> I, would say, I, I, would, I would say wedding as well, because then you don't have to have the whole, you know, you don't have you don't have to have that whole fear factor involved That's with true, having yeah. however many people, you know, fifty, hundred, two hundred people staring at you from down in like the pews of the church, just with their, all the hands together, going, oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> you know, you don't have to have all that, and then you don't have to give a speech, this, that, and the other. So I'd rather, I'd rather have no one turn up to my wedding, but then have everybody turn up to my funeral because I was just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's my logic. Uh, okay. For me, I, I, I gotta say, I prefer to say the wedding because a wedding here is always open bar and <laughs> cast an arm because people get drunk as shit. <laughs> so, so I'd say don't show up to my wedding. So I, I can just give my girlfriend the ring and we're out of there. And for my funeral, well, funeral is the same freaking thing. I mean, you're dead. People come over, look at you. Ah, he was a good guy. You know, they always say that. And after that, they get fucking drunk again. So, <laughs> but at least I'm not there to see it. So I don't know. I'd say, I, I, I'd, no, I'd say. Maybe the last one because I'm not there. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, that's the thing. You're dead. You're, you're not there. So, um... But I'm not going to be there because I'm invisible anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. A little bit of an inscription going yeah. on. <laughs> okay, what about you? What about you, Dubs? Oh... Come back to me in a minute. I've got to go into some deep thought right here. <laughs> it's, not, it's, just, it's either one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alex. I, I already answered. Oh, yeah, you did as well, didn't you? Okay, well, Come I, I, I guess I could do me. I could do, uh, it's late, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll probably say I'd rather have no one show up to my wedding. As, like, Sapphire said, you know, it'd be awkward. You know, just all those people just watching you. And plus, if she says no, and she goes, no, I can't marry you, you know, you wouldn't be Then awkward. the only person you're going to worry about is the priest. Exactly, yeah. And then They it, can be taken yeah. care of. There's only one body to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you thought about it yet, Dubba? I've gone through a few, few processes, like, if I had no one at my wedding... I would never hear the end of it from my mother, and that's like living <laughs> hell on earth. Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, but if no one turned up to my funeral, then I wouldn't hear shit because I'm dead. <laughs> but then I don't like speaking publicly in front of heaps of people because then I just be like, oh, okay, go bright red, and I just want to walk off, and there's the bar over there. Uh... I take the Mrs. Dub to be my. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be a lawful witted drunkard. <laughs> um, Promise to make me sandwiches and nah. Um, I'd go funeral. Yeah. Okay, right. So, would you rather be able to talk like Gollum or breathe like Darth Vader? How about both? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mister um... Mister. Stuff I think here can already talk like Gollum. So not doing it. Yeah, he, not, not, <laughs> he did it before. <laughs> yes, but we weren't recording before. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Not recording, press <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank um, you for that. But I, I, I would, I would go for um, 
Yeah, I'm not doing that voice again. But <laughs> I would go for probably breathe like Darth Vader, because then not only would you I be, I, I mean, okay, Gollum's an iconic character, but Darth Vader's been an iconic character since you know, you know yeah, for much much longer. Long, long so, time. but then if you wanted to be evil. You then obviously have that character, but then if you're like in the shadows, you can just breathe deeply and scare the shit out of people. And they won't know what the hell's going on. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> so just hide in a corner of an alley and just breathe deeply in the middle of the night Wouldn't and just they, scare like, the hell out of people. Sexual deviant or something hiding in the shadow, like exactly. breathing heavily. <laughs> I could be like the new Jack the Ripper. <laughs> just hiding in the alleys, except instead of stabbing people, I just scare them with my Darth Vader voice. <laughs> Well, I think you're just going to sound like you have a lung problem or something. <laughs> <laughs> just, imagine when, just imagine when you're 80 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you're have, like, people going, do you smoke? Are you okay? Have you, have you been to the doctor? That's right. <laughs> that's, that's not really going to work. And sounding, when you're 80 years old, sounding like Gollum... Oh, this God. is just going to be saying. creepy. That's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> this is creepy. Oh, <laughs> so... Give me a sponge bath, nurse. No! <laughs> 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 oh, man, I'm going all out in this podcast. Oh, I'm yeah. going all out. <laughs> That's so I... yeah, yeah, it's, it's better than It's a, it's a podcast, so yeah, I'm going to go all out. Random wow. as fuck. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. None of what I say is true. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you're supposed to be yourself here if you're going all out because you're yourself, you know? You're not gonna lie. What are you or talking am I? about? Or maybe I'll just be confusing. I don't know. <laughs> so you'll go with Darth Vader. That's a good choice. Yeah, I'll, I'll go all, with Darth Vader, yeah. yeah. So just at 80 years old, you can actually talk like Gollum with Darth Vader mixed up. And it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, man. I imagine Gollum in Darth Vader's voice. That'd be great. That would sound weird. Do it, Sapphire. No, I, 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 I don't think I could. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I can't. Do, I can't do a good Darth Vader breathing. So I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you did a snow and like breathed into a cup while doing it. Yeah, like it does Bane. <laughs> oh, if I had a cup here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's good. That sounded awful. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> it's on record. <laughs> Giving myself nightmares. <laughs> All right. What about you, Alex? Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna go with Darth Vader. I think. Yeah, I would, I would, I would have to agree. I'd go with Darth Vader. Yeah, just scare people would be great. Just hide, like hide under the bed or someone's going to breathe. <laughs> I tried doing it. <laughs> and he choked himself. Last time he hyperventilated, this he time he's dying. He almost choked himself. <laughs> I was trying to do his voice. Uh, 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 what, what, what about you, Dubs? Gollum or Darth Vader? I would say Darth Vader's more appealing than Gollum's voice <laughs> but in the, the long run. But the chicks would love it. Mate. <laughs> I, 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 I guarantee like, uh, Gollum voice pick up any. Like, imagine if you had Gollum's voice and then his personality took over and like you're going to propose to your wife and then you're like, my precious, and you're like, fuck <laughs> you, it's my ring. <laughs> <laughs> you propose to her and then next minute just bite a finger off. No. <laughs> yeah, but you're okay if there's nobody at your wedding. Oh, yeah, that is true. See, all the questions are connected. Just... You take her on a date and just start bashing fish on rocks. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay. That? <laughs> I, don't to, I don't know how to like go to the next question after that. Okay. <laughs> Your girlfriend takes you to an expensive restaurant and tells you she's pregnant after only dating her for two weeks. How do you react? How come I did not notice you had a penis between your legs? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, was this? No, Sorry, I, I, I changed the question. You motherfucker! Okay, calm down. 
Okay, okay, yeah. You changed the question. For people who are watching, you were confused. The, I really made the question, um, your girlfriend takes you to a restaurant and she tells you she's a man, but I thought that didn't really make sense because you would... All I heard was girlfriend and then restaurant, I was like, oh, I know this question. Yeah, so I, so I changed it, so <laughs> she tells you she's pregnant after only dating her for two weeks, so that's right, double said. <laughs> I've not noticed that penis in between your legs. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I shall remain silent for the rest of the night. <laughs> it's it's good, good quiet now. <laughs> Alright, um, who wants um, to start off? <laughs> um, I would discuss it in a mature manner, but kind of hint that an abortion is the right way to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, abortion, dear. While well, like <laughs> tapping her arm or something, like yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so brutal. Um, I would. Uh, it'd be it would be a shock for sure. You would be expecting it. Oh, I'm a no, dude. it wouldn't be a shock. You're in control of your own dick, man. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> that's all I have to say. You've been fucking around for two weeks and you got her <laughs> pregnant. Take your responsibilities. Yeah. yeah. Or dump her and pay for it later. <laughs> that carries on for so long, child support. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, but now I've got to go. 20 years. Oh, we're, we're lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I'll take it like a man step up to it. Pretty much my own fault for not putting the plastic over it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, so we hadn't been u we hadn't been using a condom in this situation. Well obviously not. <laughs> oh, well I don't pregnant. know. I don't know. What the the, the girlfriend might have just like like you know, you might have been wearing a condom, she might have just stabbed it with a needle before now. <laughs> well, One of the evil that? ones. Those I don't evil. know. Well the thing is condoms don't hundred hundred percent work. You. So still a chance. Fine, okay, well I'll guess I'll do the same thing as you, you guys then. I'll just be the <laughs> nice guy and say, oh yeah, alright dear, I'll stick by you. Right, right, we're calling it Dubba. No, no matter what. If it's a girl, <laughs> we're calling it Dubba. Dubba. If it's a boy, we're calling it Dubba. We're calling it <laughs> middle name Snowhood and his last name Hef. I don't care. <laughs> alright? I think um, the only, other than panicking, the only way, the only way to really react to this is to basically L turn your head into one direction, smile and go just like as if it's a comic moment, and you've got a camera on you, and just go, "Should I want a condom?" <laughs> and up and just do that, <laughs> and then I don't know, see what happens afterwards. Just see what, how she reacts. If it's in a bad way, leg it. If it's in a good way, you got a problem. <laughs> well, yeah, it was it was depends about the person, you know. If, she, if she's nice, yeah, go along with it. If she's like horrible, you know, it was it was a w one night stand sort of, you know, didn't really plan on. Making the relationship relationship last, uh, then you're. No, screwed. you've been going out with her with for two weeks. That's what you said. Two weeks, not a one night stand. Yeah, but like you know, what happens if you sort of had to be of a because you felt like you had to, but you you were planning to dump her. I don't know. That just says to me you let the wrong head think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You had to. <laughs> I, I had to. She, she was one of those. You had to. She was one of those girls like please. Don't leave me. Uh, I know what went, I know what went uh, through your mind if any holes are goal. Alright. Okay, so right. let's talk about the, the, the last bit. That was a bit of a... <laughs> okay, so let's talk about how has gaming changed in the last 10 years. So let's talk about the games that we used to play as... Well, not really kids. Well, for me, I would have been a kid, but for Colby and stuff, it would have been... You you you'd still be you still be quite that's old, right <laughs> pong <laughs> sorry like, my I I I I was born in seventy six yeah. and in seventy six there was no gaming and I went through all the consoles imaginable from Commodore sixty four Atari Atari twenty six hundred and then my Coleco Vision and Nintendo Super Nintendo and all the Sega series also so I played everything. Um, how the game changed in the last 10 years? Last 10 years? Just let's go back to let's say 2001, 2002, or something like that. Oh, yeah. Here's Mr. Snowhood here. Snowhood's joined. Snow? You oh, interrupting my very. He's on mute as well. <laughs> I'm getting a coffee. I'll be back. 
What? <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> you just finished. Your girlfriend called and she's It's getting like... cold. It's getting cold. I need to pick it up. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that's just rude. That was... But for the last 10 years, 10 years, nothing really has changed in gaming. I have to be honest with you guys. You know, if you think there's something that really changed because you're 18 years old and you started at 10 or something. But mm. uh, nothing really changed in gaming in the last 10 years, except maybe that the prices of games is not going up, and it should be, you know. So that's why, and, well, 10 years. There's different business models that are different from the time, you know, but because before, a long time ago, in a, you know, in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> we used to buy games, and then there was no DLC These for were the it. the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> no, that's right. sorry. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's also true. There was no DLCs, <laughs> there was no patch, you know, or anything of the kind. Yeah. The game was released, and that was it. Yeah, you know? the, the games, the games, the the games were finished when they were released. <laughs> that's right. Unlike like Room 2, what? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> what? Whereas what? Things like what DLCs say? and patches kind of seem like, um, almost like a lazy man's fallback. So it's like, oh yeah, well, if we don't get the game completely finished by the release day, we can do it as a DLC or a patch. Oh, well, look, dude, let's so. say that they apply this business thing with everything, okay? So you buy a car, and then what you get is the engines, the four-wheel, and, um, you know, the exhaust part, okay? And then a year after, they release a patch for your car, <laughs> and then giving you access to another bunch of pieces. <laughs> You know, I mean, mm. the the car, the car. Okay, yeah, it's gonna take you from A to B at first because you still have the four wheels and the engine and you know, like the frame or something. But it looks like shit. <laughs> and then they release more stuff during the years. So after like two years, you have a full car. You know, and they told you at first that your car would be twelve thousand dollars. And at the end, your car is costing you thirty thousand dollar because you had to buy all the other parts. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is a bit of a, a, of a shitty business model. And there's the other one. There's the free to play stuff. You know, free to play did not exist ten years ago. Well, or maybe a little bit. You know? Yeah. I I played what ten years ago. I played Ultima Online. I played uh, World of Warcraft. You know. Those were not free to play; they were pay to play, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but then we get the free to play. So they they release the game, and then they put a huge store in it where you can buy all kind of stuff at credit, and actually spend instead of spending on the game fifty or sixty dollar, you spend over three hundred dollar to get the full game or to get the full experience. So I think that's the big thing that really changed in gaming is now they're releasing bits of games and you have to buy the rest. Yeah. Mm. So, and, and we would not be applied to, you know, we would not be able to apply this kind of model to, you know, to any other businesses than gaming because, I mean, people are addicted to games. You want to play the new game because your friends are playing it, yeah. right? And all of a sudden, you get into it, and you have to buy extra stuff all the time, you know? I don't want to point fingers, and especially not at Creative Assembly. <laughs> but, you know, taking two years to release a game with DLCs every month or every two months, uh, dude, just sell me the game at $99 as a full project, please. Yeah. You know? This is... I'll pay 99 bucks because I used to pay Nintendo games 20 years ago. Well, sorry, 25 years ago. I used to play Ninten pay Nintendo games $60. And now the games are still the same price. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. Right now, a video game should be at least $90. Yeah. If it's in, if it's in full, you know. Not with DLCs after that, you know. Some DLCs are good when they release the full game... Let's say I'm going to take example of Shogun 2 because we all play, you know, Total War games. But mm -hmm. Shogun 2, the full game came out. You don't have to download any DLCs for Shogun 2 if you want. You can just get the basic game and you have it. It's fine. But after that, they release extra expansions so you can play longer, you know, like Rise of the Samurai and Fall of the Samurai. And I think that's all right because this is all... Not necessarily 100% new content, right? 
but it's taking you somewhere else in the game. It's it's it adds to the game, you know. The thing I hate is let's talk about Rome too. Is <laughs> we all paid sixty dollar for this game, right? And you actually paid for the full content. The full content is on your computer right now. Yeah. And then when you buy DLCs, it just unlock a part of what you already have in your freaking computer. <laughs> that what's up, crappy. Sap Alex? Dub oh, head. God. Call me Malone! <laughs> Too much goblins. <laughs> no hood. That's, that's how you introduce people. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Everyone with the game chat. <laughs> Malone. So I think, so that's it for me for what changed in gaming in the last 10 years. Yeah, that was actually Fucking very interesting. Yeah. That was very yeah. detailed. That was very detailed yeah. indeed. That's right. Experience. So think about, think about DLCs for your car now. It's, 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 it looks so <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, I pretty yeah. much agree with everything you said. I, I completely agree. That's quite interesting because there's a there's I've seen a blood pack for my car the other day, so I was thinking about buying that, but I'm not too sure now. <laughs> See, I guess I guess I can walk in now and bring the other side of the story. Because you're talking about cars and upgrading your car or buying the whole car to begin with, as opposed to our analogy for your pre-purchase of game and having all the content and then having to buy DLCs afterwards. Yeah, I grew up in a place that very much wanted to buy a car and then upgrade the shit out of it. I mean, we spent thousands and thousands of dollars on extra upgrades for our cars when we grew up. And it would do the same thing for computer games as well. I mean, every time they release something new, why aren't you buying it? You shouldn't maybe have to pay for it, but they still put the work in to make that just because it's already on the CD that you bought doesn't mean that you shouldn't have to still accommodate them for the needs or you know time they put into making that. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so, Just so you're science. buying your, okay. So you're buying your full car, and we're gonna talk about the same car here. We're talking about your fucking Honda Civic, okay? <laughs> <laughs> people buy 15 years ago. All right. So you're buying your full Honda Civic with all your kits on it, even your nitro and everything. But you can't use it <laughs> unless you pay for DLC. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy is telling you that you have to buy the DLC that it's not coming out now. No, no, not now. You have to roll with your car for another three months, and in three months, you have to pay me more money so I can unlock your Nitro kit. You know, <laughs> oh, you can beat up this, your friends on this. You know. This presents a learning curve. So this way, you've mastered what you own now, and then when you're given something new, it's an addition to what you've mastered. So you're telling us that game companies are taking us for freaking dumbasses in <laughs> the learning curve, right? <laughs> well, you get a little screwed, out, obviously, on some of the content for what these DLCs are actually, but, I mean, you come across a couple games with a good DLC content. I mean, GTA hit the number on both DLCs for its GTA 4. Yeah, both okay. stories are worth buying. I mean... Sure, everything might cost too much. I don't know. I mean, that's gonna. It's always gonna be a problem. Yeah. And we we hear slowly snow hood changing side here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I don't agree with having to pay for any of it, but I do agree with having to at least fork up some respect and honor that they did put in the time to make that. Just because they're offering it to you one month later down the road doesn't mean they didn't have to put in the time to test it and make it. Let's exclude Rum 2 because they'd obviously didn't test that shit. But for everyone else that does take time to do a little testing, that's you know, it usually works out pretty well. <laughs> the best DLCs are the mods and the mod makers, though. Yeah. Those yeah. are the best. Yeah. All right, the last one. Where do you think gaming will be in ten years' time? Like, is it gonna be in, like, obviously probably be we'll improved. Be... The graphics and stuff will be improved, but like. How, how I do you hope think it's it my head. We'll be standing in a room that's like the void, like Star Trek's <laughs> holiday, whatever, whatever it's called, the holiday. Oh, holodeck. And the holodeck. we'll be standing there with pretend imaginary swords and shields, slashing at zombies. That's what we do. <laughs> That'll be sweet. <laughs> Ten years. Uh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> that that doesn't make sense. We saw them try to make uh, the what is it? The goggles to oh, do yeah. virtual yeah. gaming. Yeah. And that died fast when I thought that was gonna be really fun. Was that the yeah. Oculus Rift? Was that the 
Was that something else? But, it was like well, bulky goggles. Yeah, uh, they've Nintendo tried to make one, and then some other like independent people have made stuff like stand-up arcade games that you would put on a goggle set and you would walk yep. through a world inside. Like you'd be stuck in uh, like a four foot by four foot little like thing that had sensors on all four corners that would measure your movements. But yeah, something like that would be the next world of gaming for me. I mean, getting out of this chair of I have to click buttons of any kind, and it's just all implemented in a headset or I'm actually input into another world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be pretty. Uh, for yeah, me, th- cool. for me, ten years. I don't think the games will change. The gaming thing will change a lot in ten years, as you guys can see right now. We had big games coming out, and we still have indie developers working on small games that we pay ten or fifteen dollars that are great game. So I think there's just gonna be more of that. And it's going to continue on like that. So you'll have the choice. You know, you'll have the choice. You can go the Battlefield 6 way, you know, or you're <laughs> going to need a $3,000 computer and a graphic card as big as my dick to <laughs> run. And, um, and that's a big freaking graphic card. So, uh, and, you know, you can go this way or you can go the other way and go more old school with all the indie developers actually releasing great games but not with the best graphics around and everything. And it's all it's more about the gaming experience. I'm, so I'm surprised at how many of them pull off the graphics of these big namers. The small games, and they come out, and you're like, whoa, where'd they get that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's because of engines. I, I guess some engines are less expensive than others. Mm-hmm. So so the, there's we get there's some there's a bunch of good engines right now that are not super expensive, like the Unreal Engine that people yeah, use. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, well. people. I think I think of course I think I think people should stop doing expansion of, expansion of any Valve products because it, they all look like garbage. But <laughs> you know, it's just you know, it's just me, I guess. But yeah, it's. it's in the next 10 years, I think we'll see a lot more small companies coming up with great games. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot more indies, a lot more. It's because people are interested in buying a $10 game. That, that is actually fun for at least 20 hours. So, And there's a lot of that right now. We're all on Steam, and we all know about that. You know, there's some great games coming up. And... There's going to be more and more online gaming because people need to connect with each other, not just, you know, sit in front of your computer and play. I mean, there's something good about, you know, facing each other, shooting each other in the face, or shooting other stuff, you know, with your friends. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's <clears> always <throat> something good like that. So I think this is just going to go forward. But 10 I mean, years, I don't think Shooting half with your change. friends is always fun, too. <laughs> yeah. <What>? Yeah. <sighs> always rude. Always rude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nah. So yeah, I think we covered covered everything. Uh, anything else? Anyone else want to say something? Anyone, nope. Anyone got any interesting topics they would like to bring up? I think I might need to have a number two again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said interesting stuff. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, okay, that that mentally blocked everybody when you say interesting. <laughs> 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 Don't say that again. Don't say that again. <laughs> Not in this podcast. You know. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Are you guys going on consoles? Are you guys going to buy the new consoles? Let's talk about that. Let's talk Maybe. About the new consoles. Um, I don't know. Maybe. If I do, I'll probably get a PS4. Yeah, PS4 for me as well. But like, I, like I, um, we were talking about this yesterday, weren't we? And I was saying that I spend more time... I spend pretty much every game. Every game I play now is on my PC, so mm-hmm. I, my PS3 I haven't actually used in a couple of months. So, if I get the PS4, I'll be spending a load of money on a new console that I'm likely not going to use as much. True. So, so that's 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 the, that's the problem. I mean, I could buy it just so that I've got it, but I don't want to waste however much it's going to cost just so that I've got it. I'll I'll wait until I actually decide I want it properly. Yeah. Probably. Hmm. There's got to be some really good uh, game that's only for it to come out yeah. that has no chance of coming out on the computer that I'm going to go, oh, yeah, I want to play that on the big TV. Which yeah, for I sure. I don't see many, many of them coming out. 
That's Amen. that's when your girlfriend is not watching soap, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get off the TV, it's mine now. Yeah. So for me on my side I'm probably going with the Xbox One coming up in what? A month. So but the thing is there there is titles that actually don't come out on PC, you know? We yeah. got we this year, let's say The Last of Us didn't came out. That was a very good game. That was a very good game, and it didn't come out on PC, and it's not coming out on PC, so don't wait for it. Um, there's a bunch of other titles that I can probably name, but it's just the first one that came up is The Last of Us, but because it's probably the 2013 game that I didn't have access to because I'm on PC, you know? So I don't know. It's just... It's, it's, it's it's hard to say, but there's always a bunch of games that you want you might you maybe want to play on console, you know. Um, the only problem I see with consoles right now is I don't know maybe you guys you know will not care about it, but consoles all those the two new consoles are now now connected to the internet, <laughs> and there's gonna be millions of players downloading vi- uploading videos on YouTube and on Twitch TV. There's going to be a tons of people live streaming and a ton of people sharing videos on YouTube. It's because... already it's already saturated at the minute as it is with little yeah. thirteen year olds <laughs> doing little shitty Minecraft videos and oh, yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty. Oh. Um, today, guys, we're doing some, uh, we're going to be up tree house and uh, subscribe. <laughs> That's yeah. right. All the generic things. Uh... Oh, that's great. I, it doesn't matter so, how good the, the, the game or how good they edit the video, it's the voice. I can't stand. So it's like, oh, can't stand oh my god, oh my god, lag, low it lag, hacks, oh, you can't go, oh, go, go, lag, lag. Oh, nice turtle bullshit, ah. Oh. <laughs> Creeper! Yeah, but that's, see, imagine that's coming up in about two months. You know, for those oh, of you yeah. live. For those of you live streaming, you can probably forget right now about live streaming. You know, tons and tons of new guys will enter the Twitch TV thing, and it's gonna be hell. You know, <laughs> they might be able to replace the freaking lol thing going on. Who play? Who, who, who's play? Who, who here? We'll 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 talk about that right after. But you know, the the thing is, I I'm sick of seeing people play League of Legend and Minecraft. So. Yeah. Eventually, what's next? You know, so you're gonna have tons of kids playing Call of Duty on their new Xbox or new PlayStation, and all going live on Twitch. You know, or all uploading stupid videos. I think <laughs> I don't know. YouTube is gonna turn into a mess eventually, and I'm scared It'll be that. It. Yeah. yeah, and I'm scared <laughs> that the game companies will eventually try to take their part in there. You know. Because they know that there's money to do on YouTube, so and money. on Twitch TV also. Yeah. Well, there's quite a few, even just the computer games that have built-in uh, connection to Twitch. So you can yeah. just click the button in your options, and then it starts streaming you to Twitch, and you just go ahead and play your game. Yeah. Yeah. I think Nvidia now supports that too with the so GeForce it's... experience. Yeah, that's just broadcast everything. <laughs> Just turn your computer on, start broadcasting right away. Right away. I mean, Twi- Twitch cannot even handle the users right now, you know. So I can't imagine what Twitch is gonna look like in two months. Ooh, lag central. Ah, oh, see, it it's laggy. Half the time, the chat's not working, and sometimes your recordings don't actually, you know, you don't see your recordings after you're done, you know, live streaming. Is because I've been doing it for you know a bunch of months, and what I do is take my recording and send them to YouTube after that, and all of a sudden, boop, no recording. I've been live streaming for four hours, no recordings. There's nothing I can do. I can't do any highlights. I can't do anything. I just live stream for four hours for no reason. Yeah. You know. Well, let, let's just hope that you know, fingers crossed. The reason why they haven't made, they haven't fixed all those problems is because they are spending all their time getting Twitch prepped and ready for when all these millions of more people go on and start maybe. using it. So maybe they're just not focusing on fixing all the problems that are happening now. They're just getting ready so that they don't have any major problems in two months' time. Mm. Maybe. That's a good. That's a nice way to think about it because it 
relieves all, a little bit of the pressure of it. It's like, oh, maybe they're just focusing on that, but yeah, well... they probably aren't. But you know, you never know. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. gives you hope, man. It gives you hope. <laughs> Buy right. a million more servers to house all the. Oh, uh, whatever. But all right, so let, let's talk about something else because I, I talk about League of Legends. Right? <laughs> no, no. I talk about. <laughs> Bring it up. I talk about <laughs> Minecraft. Okay. I love it. So no. when do you when do you guys think those two games will die? Very shortly. <laughs> Minecraft. Well, I'm just about to um set alight this little Molotov cocktail I've got in my hand, but um <laughs> if you want me to postpone that, I can do that for a little bit. <laughs> Not will, too will my Let's start Minecraft first. Will Minecraft ever die? Probably I not. Probably not. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll probably properly die. But people will be. It will. It will fade away. So there'll be. There'll be a small. It will get to a point where there's a small group of people that can that still play it a lot, but everybody else just won't notice because they're focused on everything else. It will get to that point. I mean, I haven't I haven't seen very many Minecraft videos recently. The only thing I've seen Minecraft in is um, Gary's mod with C Nanas when he does prop hunt. Oh yeah, I've okay. seen a couple of videos of that. That's that's the that's the most recent Minecraft videos I've seen in months. So I think it's dying out now, but I don't think it'll ever properly die out. The the Ogs cast still do a load of Minecraft, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's because you're not looking for it. But get on YouTube, mm. type Minecraft, and put it in time order, and you'll see there's probably fifty thousand Minecraft videos uploaded every day. <sighs> more than that. It's gonna be more around a while because it's it's an easy game to play. A lot of people have access to it. Easily moddable too. Yeah, you can adjust it, make it a little bit different. Yeah, see, I, I've got yeah. nothing wrong in the game. I I enjoy it myself, but I would never record it myself. Like, I like it because you can be very creative, and um, it's probably why a lot of people like it. You know, you can build random shit, but um, it's just the amount the the community is just so annoying. It um, people get married in it and stuff. What, I mean, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? There's been Minecraft that weddings. Scary. Oh my god! Uh, that's, that's like that's... there's been WoW weddings. That's oh taking god. sad to a whole new level. Oh, oh my god. That's like getting married at oh. McDonald's. I thought that was sad, but that's that's <laughs> sad. That's like that's like marrying your pets together. <laughs> we have a donut shop that you can get married at over here. Oh are you guys you guys watching this are you guys watching this right now? I want your comments about that. <laughs> you know? Comment comment about that. Talk about Minecraft guys. Is it gonna die? Are you playing Minecraft? Why you like it? And are you gonna be playing Minecraft in ten years? You know. Mm -hmm. And the Maybe same thing go. The same thing goes with uh, League of Legends and Dota 2 and Forge. Is it Forge? Yeah. No, is it Forge? What's the name of that other game? Um. It's Forge. I don't even no know. No idea. I don't know. Terraria. Smite. 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 Sorry. That's it. Smite. Yes. They League of Legends, Dota 2, and Smite, you know, because it's all the same business kind of thing, and it's all the same, <coughs> I, I, it's, all, it's all the same damn game. So, huh. what, what do you guys think? Are you going to be playing League of Legends in the next 10 years? No. You know? No. Are you done playing this freaking lame game? Is it because you're poor that you cannot afford another game? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Because I hate you all, League of Legends players. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I hate you all. You know? I've not is even it because it once, so... Is it because you're young right now and you don't have your own computer, let's say, and you can't spend money on games? Is it why you're playing those free games? Or, you know, is it because you really enjoy them? You know? Because to me, playing of Le League of Legends, after half and freaking hour, it's the same game over and over again, you know? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's the same thing over and over again. The maps look all the same. It's players against players, little powers, little colors flying around. It's the same thing over and over again. There's nothing special about it, you know. So I can understand somebody somebody playing StarCraft for a long time, because there's different strategies in every game. There's a bunch of units. There's the way you build and everything. There's also but, a business uh, around it. <laughs> exactly, but not League of Legend. Mm. On League of Legends, it's the same thing over and over again. You know? Mm. So, yeah. and why are you guys still watching League of Legends tournaments? You know? Why are you still watching this? To watch 
20 games in a row playing the same map, you know, or almost the same map, because I can't make the difference. They all look the same. <laughs> so why is it always played on the same map? People using the same champions over and over again. So, you know, are you going to keep playing this until they release uh, always because they release new champions? You know, because honestly, this is a big money net. If you're paying and, and if you're paying to play this game, explain that to me. Why are you still stuck on League of Legends? You know, when there is a lot of other games that would honestly cost you less than League of Legends that are better and will give you better time, you know. Same thing for you, Minecraft players. Stop <laughs> playing the survival game on Minecraft, okay? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, stop it. Or you know? The survival I don't care. game. <laughs> yeah, the survival game. I, I don't care. You know, you go online playing with your friends. You're playing with cubes. <laughs> cubes. <laughs> you know, it's the same reason I'm going to ask you guys. Are you playing Minecraft because you have a crappy computer? You know? Are you playing Minecraft because you really, really enjoy it? And you better have good points on this. You know, <laughs> because there's a lot of other games that you could be enjoying instead of wasting all your time on Minecraft that's, by the way, 12 years old. No, it's not 12. I'd, like 8 years old. I have no idea. You know? <laughs> Just get off this. You know, I can understand some people still play Donkey Kong. You know? All right. There's big, <laughs> there's big, yeah, because there's like big championship <laughs> of it, you know? And p some people still play Pac Man. Because there's like uh, new classic new of variations of it now. I love Pac-Man. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, but why are you still playing Minecraft? Haven't you <laughs> built enough houses and castles and farms and shit and made of cubes? And <laughs> didn't you dig down to the bottom, you know, middle of the earth to find diamonds so many times? Aren't you sick of it? You know, it's the same thing all the time. You know, even if they release new patches and new stuff. Oh, I, I can understand. It's fun to try them for a little bit, but you're still only playing with cubes, you know, and all by yourself, by the way. There's no real challenge in this game, on, you know, unless you're really patient. Patient. You got to be patient, I guess, to build the big stuff. But what is that going to give you? Hmm. Where are you going? Where are you, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I'm playing with blocks, yo. Yeah, so... I, of Black course, you, you guys can comment right now. Oh, you don't have Minecraft. You don't know. To hell with you. I have Minecraft, and I know what's Minecraft, my friend. I'm punching I've a tree. I've played enough of Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys don't know, but when I edit video, upload videos, and do other stuff, I can play Minecraft at the same time. That's how big. Then you know, that's how good my computer is. A Minecraft is not gonna take anything, you know, away from my computer power. And I play it, uh, you know, just in my spare time, just for fun. But even that, I could be playing something else, you know? So what is it? What is it that makes Minecraft so cool to play and so cool to watch right now? Because there's a million channels still presenting Minecraft. So I want to know which channel you're watching and why you're watching it, to be honest. I, I want I want to know. I want to know. Because I have to be honest, guys, I think some of those channels are just trying to make money off you. That's what they're doing. You know, they keep playing Minecraft when they could be playing other games. I'm not saying they're not smart, you know, because, yeah, they're making money. But if you got to play Minecraft for a long time, there's probably, re you know, there's a reason. There's a reason behind it, you know. Or you're a dumbass and you can't adjust to another <laughs> game. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's possible. Or you're a dumbass and you can't play another game, you know. Hey, this game right is in 3D. A circle, oh, I don't shit. get it. Oh, shit, 3D. Oh, man, it takes more than three buttons. I can't play it. I don't <laughs> understand it, you know. <laughs> is it that, you know? Or, or is it because really, really there's something that I haven't discovered about Minecraft, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta uh, take anyone. the blue pill, man. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my whole rant and question to you guys about Minecraft and League of Legends. You know. <laughs> uh, well done. <laughs> Everyone clap. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was that was pretty. Uh, so, that was impressive. That was that was wow. Yeah. Was none of us here. None of us here. By the way, as a disclaimer, no, none of us here play League of Legends and Minecraft. So. To be honest, I don't, I don't even guess. know what League of Legends looks like. To be honest, I've never been bothered Good. to. 
I have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> so that's how. Yeah. It looks like. How much I don't care. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like Australia, but made in cubes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Australian cubes. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that's going to be it. We're hitting up to the 50-minute mark, and it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, we had our rants. We had our little fun at the beginning. That snow missed, but I'm sure you will watch it if you can be bothered. Um, just want to thank mm -hmm. everyone for joining. Sapphire Phoenix, thank you very much. No problem and, at all. And you're, Glad to be here. And your golem voice was spot on. Thank you. Even though you said you wouldn't do it, you, you did it like three times. Thank you. The yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not ending it. The I'm, not, I'm, I'm not ending on it. I'm not ending on it. Okay, so you guys go back to about 15 minutes of the video, Please. and you can hear uh, Sapphire Phoenix play, you know, do this golem voice. Yeah, I'll definitely um, put down the time in the description for you guys to... <laughs> <laughs> Give right. him the pressures! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yep, yeah, big thank you to Alex Ramblings, uh, who just got back from Canada, very jet lag, so appreciate you joining us, my friend. You are welcome. You can now go sleep, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some coffee, so I'm going to be wired. Yep. Wired! <laughs> <laughs> and double, it's very late for you as well. I think it's like four in the morning or something, or later. Hey, I'm pretty vegetated. <laughs> vegetated. <laughs> as always, yeah. yeah thank you, Dubba. <laughs> Call me, thank you for your rants. They were very entertaining. I'm sure everyone else loved them as well. Yeah, I want to hear people about it. Don't forget, comment about it. You know, yeah, for sure. You can even di I, I don't even care you're disliking the video because it's not on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For but that. react. What what I want you guys to do is react. React. You know? let's, talk, let's talk about that League of Legend and Minecraft stuff and Safari Phoenix talking like Gollum. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> and um, like give him the precious. And again, Snowhood joining halfway through. He, I'm good at that. He, <laughs> You're very good at that, and yeah, thank you for joining as well. All good. Alright guys, that's it for this time. Uh, check us next time. Uh, we'll have a bunch of your favorite YouTubers again. And uh, yeah, if you've got any more questions, drop it down in the comment section. That'd be lovely. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. It's a twat. I'm not, I'm not a twat. <laughs> Whoa!